Hello everyone, welcome to Success Development. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Qbox server from scratch. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, to set up a 5M server, we need a two important software to be installed into our PC. First one is XAMPP and another one is Hedy SQL. I'll put all the links which I'm using in this video directly in the description below. You can download it from there. If you're using Windows OS, you just need to click over here to download the XAMPP. To download the Hedy SQL, you just need to click over here. After installing the XAMPP and SQL, we have to create a folder for our 5M server. So I'll be creating a folder over here and I'll be giving a name of zq box now inside the folder we have to create a new folder called artifact okay after that we just need to download the 5m artifacts i'll put this website's link in the description below make sure to download the latest version of the artifacts by clicking over here after that open the downloaded zip file now we have to extract all these files into our artifacts folder so i'll be selecting everything from here now we just need to drag these files from here and drop it into your artifacts folder just like this now i just need to run my fxserver.exe so double click over here then click on run anyway so you will get a panel over here then click on link account Click on continue. Now we just need to give a backup password. So I'll be giving a random password over here. Now let's give same password over here. Now in here we have to give our server's name. So I'll be giving a name of ZX Qbox. Then click on next. After that click on popular recipes. In here you will find Qbox. Previously it wasn't available in the popular recipes but now TX admin added over here so we just need to click over here. After that we need to create a path to download all our resources. So I'll be creating a new folder over here and giving it a name of files. After that open this folder and copy this location from here. Then click on this change path then paste the location over here. Just like this then click on save. After that click on go to recipe deployer. After that click on next. In here we need a license key. For that we just need to click on this cfx.re portal. Now to generate a new license key we just need to click on this generate key. Now we need to give a name to our key so I'll be giving it a name of zx qbox then click on generate. Ok you can see our key over here. Now we just need to click over here. Then click on copy to copy the license key. After that we just need to paste our license key over here. Now click on this advanced option. Over here we can change the name of our database. So I'll be changing the name and giving it a new name of ZX Qbox. After setting it up we just need to click on this run recipe. So as you can see our recipe is now deploying and it will install all the resources to our file. So we just need to wait around 4 to 5 minutes. Ok all my recipes got deployed now. I just need to click on this next. So over here you can see the server.cfg. So I'll be making some changes over here. After setting up everything we just need to click on this save and run. So our TX admin panel has been started and our server is up now. You can set up rest of the things like whitelisting players and everything from here. Now let's open our Hedy SQL. Click on open. Here you will see our Qbox server's database over here as you can see. Everything has been set up perfectly fine. So now let's open our 5M. After opening the 5M, you will get an option of connect to desktop this this this. You just need to click over here. So as you can see, we are connecting to our server now. And this is the default loading screen of Qbox framework you can see over here. So you can see the character creation menu of our Qbox framework over here. So let's create a new character. So I'll be giving it a name of Zexus. Then click on confirm. We will get a unique apartment selection menu over here. So let's select an apartment. So I'll be selecting tensile tower. After selecting your apartment, click enter. Then click on confirm. Qbox framework use Illum appearance for the clothing menu as you can see. So after customizing your character, click on this save button then click on yes. So as you can see this is the apartment of Qbox framework. 
you can explore the apartment over here and also you can see the inventory which is aux inventory the default inventory of qbox framework and qbox also use aux target over here as you can see so let's get out from this apartment so now let's open the phone as you can see this is the phone of our qbox framework you can see it from here okay let's open the admin menu so as you can see this is the admin menu of our qbox framework and these are the options inside the admin menu so now let's open the map and see so as you can see this is the map of our qbox framework as you can see about this framework qbox framework supports all the resources and scripts comes for cubico framework you can use all that into your qbox framework the server is fully ready now you can customize the server by adding some unique scripts so yes guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to 5m development goodbye